Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Hungry Holic. My name is Ritika, and today we are heading towards the Tavern Cafe to check out how the food and the vibe of this place is. This cafe is located in the lanes of Prince Anwarsha Road, which is very close to South City Mall. Though the Tavern Cafe is not a recently opened cafe, it is a pretty old one. In most probability, it started from the 5th of November 2018. However, I never got an opportunity to visit it and this is the first time I am visiting this place. I will share my honest and unbiased opinion with all of you in this review. The seating is divided into three different parts. I always enjoy the outdoor seating as it always offers the natural light which helps me clicking better pictures and videos. However, if you want to sit inside, you can definitely go and grab a seat in the air conditioning rooms. The menu is extensive and huge. It might end up confusing you, but you can definitely ask for recommendations from the waiter who I am sure will be more than happy to assist you. I am trying to videograph as much as possible so that you get an idea about the menu. So today we are starting with honey chicken dry. This is from their chef special menu for the day. So we are starting with this in Tavern Cafe. Looks amazing. I don't know how it will taste. I'll just have a bite and then let you know about the taste. This item will definitely be in one of my recommended dishes from the Tavern Cafe. It had the exact amount of sweetness and the crunchiness this item required to have. Next was pesto pasta. You really can't go wrong with pesto sauce and penne pasta with some veggies. I requested them not to add sweet corn because I am not very fond of sweet corn in my pasta. It came along with two slices of garlic bread. It was properly garnished with cheese but for a cheese lover like me, little amount of cheese is never enough. I would love to have my pasta with a lot of shredded cheese as well as a little bit of oregano and to spice it up some chili flakes. Now that is exactly how I like my pasta, cheesy and spicy. Not that much spicy though. Main courses here, first item in the menu is a veg clear soup. We have ordered a combo which includes this soup, otherwise I would never prefer to have a soup in a cafe. That is just one of my preferences, but it was there as a part of the combo. Now let's give it a try. Perfect. But I would have liked it if it was non-veg. It had some chicken, shredded chicken pieces in it. Veg, our kubakta bhalo lakchana. But otherwise, it is good. Next item in the combo is this noodles with chicken gravy. This is a Chinese combo. Looks great. Let's see how it tastes. Now this is also a part of the combo with which the soup came. I have opted for veg noodles and chicken. Instead of the veg noodles, you can also opt for veg fried rice. I am a rice holic person, but recently I have developed a sudden fondness towards noodles. Hence, I ordered noodles. That's not very common. Now, let's dip in this gravy and give it a try. One thing I would definitely like to clarify is that the quantity in the combo is suitable for one person. I don't think you can share it with someone else because the quantity is not really much. Surprisingly, it tastes good. However, I did not have very high expectations from it. Next up is another main course. This is something which I have ordered for myself and it is not a part of the combo. This has been ordered separately. This is basically bhetki in almor sauce. 
sorry if i am pronouncing it in a wrong way it is basically a brown sauce which is kind of a little bit sweet and tangy it comes with a bed of herb rice you can replace the herb rice with mashed potatoes however this doesn't resemble the item which i had seen on zomato it came with a bed of sauteed veggies which are missing here and comparatively the pricing is towards the higher end it is 460 for just a slice of fish and herb rice although petki is expensive in most cafes now coming to the taste of it i really like the taste however i would definitely suggest that the pricing could have been a little bit towards the lower end then it would have been perfect finally the last item in the chinese combo is here this is a slice brownie which has been garnished with some sprinkles and chocolate chips along with some chocolate sauce now let's dig in it definitely looks tempting and it is difficult for me to resist i just want my spoon to dig inside this brownie and the brownie to melt inside my mouth So they have provided us with some complimentary sodas. This is orange soda and this is strawberry soda. I will just have a sip of the strawberry soda and let you know how it tastes. It's quite refreshing and nice. Definitely recommended for the summer season. It will help you beat the heat and boost up your energy. Next up this is a kacha mango soda this was also really nice finally the last item of the day is here this is the magnificent, beautiful, outstandingly delicious Oreo cake. Now, if you are visiting Tavern Cafe, you must, 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 must order the Oreo cake, specifically if you are a chocolate lover. It is filled with chocolate sauce, sprinkles, and a lot of beautiful textured soft melt in the mouth feel now some of you might feel that i am exaggerating but this is definitely one of my most favorite items that i had at tavern cafe the rest of the items can kind of be similar you might find an alternative in some other cafe but this is really amazing specifically if you have a sweet tooth like i do or you are a chocolate lover kono kotha hobe na jara jara tavern cafe te ascho definitely eta try koro chocolate lovers ra khub pochondo korbe jodi if you are not so much of a chocolate lover then also i would recommend this so that's all from me at the tavern cafe if you haven't paid a visit yet i will definitely recommend you to drop in someday with your friends and family. It's not very difficult to locate. You can just use your Google Maps to find the exact location. Thank you for staying connected with me on YouTube. And if you're liking my content, both in short format and vlog format, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would be really helpful for me.